Hello and welcome to the vision of the Smart Paint Factory, showing new approaches for the digitalization of the paint and coatings industry. Before I start, please allow me to say a few words about our company. Orontec GmbH und KKG is a technology provider from Germany for the paint and coatings industry. We offer solutions for laboratory automation, measurement technology and software. With our customers, we carry out projects where we optimize processes and achieve traceable improvements. Our team has over 150 years of experience in the coatings industry and we are one of the leading service providers in this industry. We operate worldwide. My agenda for today's presentation consists of three parts. One, a short introduction of our vision of the smart paint factory. Two, examples of successful implementations of digitalization as a contribution to the smart paint factory vision. Three, an outlook on what we think the important driving forces and future challenges might be and how to solve them. Our vision of the smart paint factory is on one hand based on the idea of so-called Industry 4.0. The term 4.0 originates from considering our current industrial level as the fourth industrial revolution. In this approach, the first industrial revolution was mainly based on the use of steam and water power together with mechanization. Mass production and electricity led to the second electronic and IT systems to the third industrial revolution. The fourth industrial revolution is a political initiative mainly initiated by the German government in 2011, naming so-called cyber-physical systems, which is the view of connecting machines by using the Internet. Additionally, characteristics like horizontal and vertical integration as well as the idea of flexible production are in focus of this production-oriented view. In general, a lot of these ideas originate from the requirements of single-part production, such as automotive or electronic consumer products. There is another approach I would like to mention, which is based on the ideas of Eric Brunjolfsson, and Andrew McAfee, both from MIT. This approach is called Second Machine Age, and it is a broader view on our current industry situation, because several industries are not purely production-driven, and in case of the chemical industry, not manufacturing of parts. The basic idea is that automation and artificial intelligence are going hand-in-hand -hand to both automize mechanical and cognitive processes. In the graph shown on the right side of the slide, you can see the fields of manual work in the left two quadrants of the portfolio and cognitive work on the right. The height, or the y-axis, is showing the complexity of the work to be carried out. In the low left quadrant, you see simple manual work. On the top right, you see work with a high degree of creativity. The second machine age is the time when automation and artificial intelligence start to conquer this quadrant. The goal of this is not a replacement of humans, it is to improve the working environment for people, replacing routine work with more creative work. Our vision of the smart paint factory is a mixture of the ideas of industry 4.0 and second machine age. Understanding a paint factory as an input, throughput, output organization, it appears obvious that the organization must transfer raw materials and energy into products for customers. On both sides of the model, cost, quality and availability of the goods are in focus. Additionally, the potential market demand of individual products leads to flexible production or the lot size one approach. The organization or the company or factory must be able to adjust to changes in the purchasing and sales marketplaces as well as changes in different other areas from the outside, such as environmental legislation. In the end, 
A smart process is characterized by data integration along the value-adding process with the help of learning. Learning of people and IT systems with the help of artificial intelligence. Additional features are intelligent forecast models, modular manufacturing, and so on. Examples of a smooth and flexible value-adding process flow, VAPF, that reduces constraints is shown in the following slides in the areas of semi-finished products, production, and application. The first example is about a method for process prognosis of base codes for the automotive industry based on automation of statistically relevant data. The method is based on the idea that film thickness is a significant indicator for several surface characteristics. Some of them can be expressed directly as a film thickness value, others depend on film thickness. Base codes for cars are high-tech materials and each additional micron of the film leads to higher cost and more weight of the car body. So it is important to detect an application window where a minimum film thickness still complies with all technical requirements of the material. In this example, a test panel in the size of 580 times 300 mm is coated with a base coat wedge in a laboratory process. The wedge is sprayed with a laboratory robotic equipment where applicators and parameters similar or identical to the paint shop are used. After finishing the panel with clear coat and the curing process, the panel is measured in an automatic robotic measurement system. While a lab technician may collect 60 data points per hour, the automized surface scanner will collect 1000 to 2000 data points, which will result in more reliable, statistically valid data acquisition. The data evaluation is completed by more functions and charts, which makes it a complex task. Currently, a project is initiated to use artificial intelligence to carry out such evaluations. The result is a process window for the application process, which is given in micrometers, between X micrometers and Y micrometers. After data collection, multiple measurements are evaluated against film thickness, and a maximum and minimum value of film thickness is determined. This process window helps to set an optimal operating point for the application process. One of the benefits of the method is a saving of approximately $2 per car body for each micron saved at the application process. But also, paint shop line trials are saved, leading to a cost reduction in the dimension of $1 million per year. For the smart paint factory, this means R&D can optimize formulations for lower film thickness or a broader process window with a target of more robustness in the application process. This is enabled by the high number of data points. A digital transfer of data from the paint supplier to the paint shop is a case of horizontal data integration. The measurements are automized and lead to more time of lab staff to focus on data evaluation instead of data collection. The second example refers to a method especially for semi-finished products, in this case aluminum slurries for effect colors. The dispersion process of aluminum flake raw material to slurries generates significant quality variance. A technology to measure these slurries in liquid state is used to define target values and parameters which lead to a consistent quality definition of the slurry. The characteristics of the progression as well as the target values are then transferred to production. The method generates multi-angle spectral data where the progression of the color values against time are detected. Target values of the spectral data are determined and in production the same measurement technology is used to control the slurry process. It is finished once the target values are reached. 
The benefits of this method can lead to quality cost reduction of several $100,000. Even more, a better yield of the pigment leads to a reduction of pigment cost by at least 5%. It also helps to reduce the number of corrections of batches, which is a constraint in the production process. For the smart paint factory, this means vertical integration, data flow between QC and production is enabled, horizontal integration, data flow between pigment supplier and paint producer is enabled, learning, R&D can build up knowledge on the pigment behavior in the paint system, understanding its influence on the overall performance of the finished paint system. The third example focuses on paint production, where formulations are adjusted before a batch is set up. In today's paint production setups, the color QC process is usually a significant bottleneck, also due to long testing times and an overload of the QC lab. Pigment pastes, as the color generating components of a paint system, are a subject of quality variations measurable as relative color strength. This color strength is directly connected to the concentration of a tinting paste in a finished paint system. Higher color strength requires less paste in the batch and vice versa. But it needs a reliable algorithm to transform a given deviation of color strength to the concentration change in the formulation of a batch. The method uses a precise measuring device for liquid color measurement, and a calculation algorithm that allows a precise calculation of concentration against color strength. In production or goods received, tinting pastes are controlled by color strength and its measurement results are saved in a database. Before a batch is set up, the formulation of the batch is recalculated based on the actual color strength values of its components. The example in the table on the left side shows that such a recalculation reduced the color difference by 90% without the necessity to physically correct the batch. A reduction of corrections and consequently a faster process flow can lead to cost savings of $4,000 per batch. Additional cost savings can be reached by a significant reduction of inventory in production. For the smart paint factory, this means vertical integration. Data exchange between QC and production in real time accelerates the process. Horizontal integration. Data exchange between pigment paste supplier and paint producer makes it possible to recalculate formulations of batches even before the material is in production. Learning. R&D can build up knowledge on the pigment behavior in the paint system making it possible to understand even better how to save money by improving the pigment yield or exploring alternatives of pigments. So, what are the challenges for the future and what to do out of it? Let me give you an outlook. Our industry is facing significant challenges. Growth in the overall market is low and companies can only grow through innovation or displacement. Individualization as a component of Industry 4.0 leads to the economy of small batches as a prerequisite for survivability. The days of exclusively profit-oriented management are gone in the chemical industry anyway, and the topic is also gaining importance in the coatings industry. A profit-oriented management is replaced by a sustainability-oriented management. The industry is still very experience-based, so employees and their development and retention are one of the most important pillars of the future of the business. Our recommendations for coming closer to the Smart Paint Factory are these three major topics. Create a learning organization. Encourage the employees to spend time on trying new things. Make communication possible Overcome silos of departments which tend to create communication breaks leading to interruptions in the value-adding process. So, implement digital workflows based on automation and artificial intelligence. Innovate processes. 
connect production steps and let digital data help you to control production better. Some testing methods are ancient and partly still analog. Innovate by switching from pure testing methods to methods of valid data generation. Run smaller projects and learn faster. Enable data flow. Cloud computing is a question of when, not if. The sooner you start working on this and connect different data sources, the better. Digital twins as a virtual instance of physical subjects help to make data flow even faster and allow simulation of conditions before they occur in the real world. So let me summarize as follows. Smart Paint Factory is a vision for the integration of technical and business processes using modern IT technologies. It needs a transformation that is not limited to digitalization. It requires organizational changes and process optimization. Small projects enable fast progress and help people to adapt. Data generation with help of measurement technologies is necessary beyond established QC methods. A flexible, adaptable organization with a culture of learning is an important prerequisite for sustainable growth. Thank you for your attention. For more information, see our website or contact me directly. Have a good day.